Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Viking Size Gamer, and today we have more WWE 2K19 news and rumors. Before we get into this, I just want to ask you: don't forget to like and subscribe for more WWE 2K19 content as it comes out. We're going to be covering all the news and rumors as it does come out, and it's going to be really great to give it to you firsthand this year, as. Well, things seem to be going quite well for me, and obviously we've hit over 5,000 subscribers now. I'm going to try and get out to you a setup video of how I do things here. It's very interesting, maybe for people who want to look at YouTube as something they want to do for themselves. So I will give you a setup tour as soon as I've got something on here. But for today, we're going to jump into some rumors from King Mo. Okay, now a lot of these people are going to be thinking to themselves, is this actually legit? Look. I have always covered these as rumours and I will always say that these are rumours until they are proven. Now don't get me wrong, some of these things that he has been saying have been true. This year especially, there have been several things that he has leaked out before it's happened and they've come out. So say for instance the Million Dollar Challenge, he actually did release something about that and saying about it and what it was going to do and what it was going to include. but. You know, nobody else would have known that unless, of course, they were part of the press conference and things like that or had a little bit of inside knowledge. So, this was actually leaked probably the day before, actually, it was. So, just to give you a bit of context there, this year, as much as you want to criticize him, a lot of the things are either things that, you know, you would think, well, that's logical, it would happen, or He's getting information from somewhere in the inside, which is this Erudite2k account which he uses on Twitter. So there's actually a lot of things that he is doing that he's saying from these guys. So just keep your eyes and ears out, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, but keep an open mind that a lot of these things could actually be real. So let's just jump in with the first thing. Somebody's actually asked King Mo this year, did Carmella get rescanned? Now, of course, King Mo's come back saying, yes, her attire and model is listed as updated under her, which you would think would be a pretty straightforward thing. Let's face it, Carmella looks a lot different than she did last year, especially as now she's carrying around that championship belt. She's got a different attitude. Her attire is completely different. It, 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 she is going to get an update regardless. So it's really good to see that this is basically confirmed. I am always well and truly happy to hear a Carmella getting updated because she's got to be one of my favorite females on the roster at the moment. She's always entertaining no matter what she's doing. Her persona is just fantastic and on point. And if you don't like her, she's getting genuine heel heat. So she's doing her job, you know, just roll with it. It's good. It's a good thing. So Carmella getting an update for her attire, that's pretty much a sure thing anyway, so that's good. Next up, we have somebody asking if any of the UK division has been scanned for WWE 2K19. Now, King Mo has come back saying that four were scanned last year and two of those were rescanned recently. Now, the four that were scanned last year were, of course, going to be Pete Dunne, Tyler Bate, Wolfgang, and more than likely Mark Andrews. Now, these guys were obviously there at WrestleMania and TakeOver last year, and really, it would have made sense for them to be scanned. In fact, I did speak to Pete Dunn, Tyler Bate, and Trent Seven. In fact, Trent Seven would have been the other one that would have been scanned and not Mark Andrews. But yeah, recently, these two guys have been interviewed by IGN, which is Pete Dunn and, of course, Tyler Bate. Now, these two are probably the likely ones that have been rescanned this year. These two are the ones that have basically undergone the most drastic changes. Pete Dunn looks nothing like he did in 2017. And Tyler Bate looks realistic, just nothing, nothing like he did in 2017. It's a complete character change. He looks so different now in his face, his hairstyle, his beard. He looks completely different. So likelihood being, these two guys are going to be the ones that are going to be completely changed from what they were before. This is obviously great news for everybody who wants the UK division in. And the fact that they've been scanned more than likely and now interviewed by IGN is almost a sec secure thing that they're going to be in WWE 2K19, so I would totally assume that these two guys at least will be in for the UK roster. More than likely, these guys will be in WWE 2K19. I can see it. You can see it. It's a pretty obvious inclusion for this year. They didn't make it last year. They put the belt in, but we all know that they deserve to make it this year. And lastly, somebody has asked, do you know anything about graphic improvements like hair physics or the lighting? So this is where it gets interesting. 
King Mo has said that visual upgrades listed so far include augmented arena lighting, enhanced real-time shadows and reflections, and clothing slash derma shaders for both created and in-game models. The first screenshots that are being released specifically show each of these improvements off, but there's not much on hair yet. Now, I wouldn't expect much on the hair because hair physics are just ridiculously hard to do anyway, you know, it's just one of those things, if you want to get hair physics done for an entrance, you basically have to turn it into a CGI entrance, and you just don't want to do that, because then you lose the functionality of having run into things. What you really want to do for this, and what's really interesting, is having all these upgrades. Now you remember in 2K18, this was year one of their brand new graphics engine, that they had put so much graft in for the last four or five years, they've had this. And Visual Concepts really put a lot of work into it to make it look as good as it did for its first year debut. But the great news is, is that because it's still in its first year and now coming into its second, there is a lot of room for improvement for how much they can actually push this graphical engine. Now, I don't know if you've seen this, but released today was the first screenshot of NBA 2K19. Now, I don't want to alarm anybody, but this screenshot just looks absolutely fantastic. Look at the shading, look at the sweat, look at the lighting on it. This game looks absolutely amazing from a visual perspective. And honestly, the graphics engine... 2K18 just couldn't compare, but 2K19, if they have anything similar to this, if they can push their graphical engine to anything as close as NBA, then they're really, really onto a winner. I would be absolutely astounded if they can make any sort of matching the graphical improvements as they have done with NBA 2K19, because it's just another level. It's, the detail in this was just absolutely unreal, so this reveal is massive and I'm hoping for really big things from WWE 2K19 in the graphics sense. A lot of people are hoping for things like gameplay improvements and new modes and things like that. These things are of course going to happen but what I really want to see is the graphical improvements. I want to see how their graphics engine copes when they try and push it a little bit further this year and add all these new things into it because if they can get the more and more realism out of it like they have with NBA, then they're really going to be onto a winner and hopefully we'll be able to see something like that this year in WWE 2K19. So guys, those are the rumors for the day. Let me know what you think down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, fun fact, if you are wondering why my voice sounds like this, it's because I'm currently ill. But hopefully it's not put you off too much, it's just very, very deep. And when I'm not talking, I'm coughing. So it's it's all gravy. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's rumours. It's been fun bringing these to you from what feels like my deathbed. But it's not. I'm good. But this is another WWE 2K19 video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Catch you later.